Hello everyone, and welcome to another video. So in this video, I'm going to take a look at a request that I had on the Discord to um, explain how the AGM-89 anti-ship missiles work. And wow, has this one been a challenge. Um, I've done a lot of practice with this missile to try and um, figure out how it works. And this video is basically passing that on to you guys. So I've created this mission, as I say, to, to help um, with these missiles. Um, I will finish the mission off uh, after I've edited this video and I'll put it up as well for people to use and play around with. Um, but for now, let's get up and I'll show you how we use the AGM-89s. Okay, so here we are in the cockpit about to start the mission. And um, you can see here that I've got the two main screens that I'm going to use um, for using the AGM-89s. I'm going to want to use the nav map and I'm going to want to use the GPS targeting screen because this mission needs the GPS uh, targeting screen. You can, all, you can also use the TADS, which I will do for this first mission. And one, first of all, I'm just going to head away from this um, waypoint so I don't start the mission. Um, first of all, I just wanted to go into the equipment menu. I'm going to select equipment. You can see this mission, we've only got AGM-89, so I'm going to select any one of these. And we have this option, terminal mode. And this is basically what the missile is going to do on the way to its last waypoint. And that's its, its terminal waypoint, basically. So we have direct, which I'll use first. Then we have sea skim which is exactly as it says, it's going to skim the sea, it's going to fly as low as it can. Then we have SS Evasive, which is sea skim evasive, very similar to the previous, um, but it will become evasive as well in the last uh, leg of its journey, which basically means it's going to swerve side to side uh, to, to try and avoid or confuse the radar on the, uh, on the defending ship. Then the last one we have is Pop-Up which is like sea skim evasive, but at the very last minute it's going to pop up, it's going to fly up and drop down on the ship from above. And that's because the weakest part of a ship is the deck. So that's the best chance of sinking a ship rather than a side-on shot. Also, uh, if it doesn't sink the ship, it will pretty much destroy the radar towers, uh, which should take out its defensive defences. So each one has its uses. Um, Pop-up is generally the, the, the best, really, for destroying the ship, or sea skim evasive to get closest. Uh, but, but first of all, we're going to use direct, direct impact. And this is kind of just like using it like an AGM-65, almost. It's just going to fly directly to the waypoint that we give it in a, in a straight as line as possible. So our first target, I have nicely already set a waypoint for so I'm just going to hit waypoint on here and zoom all the way in and just pull around onto uh, onto this target so we can see here it's 20 nautical miles away and there we go I've picked it up on the TGP so I'm going to lock onto that I'm going to press GPS S and now I can go to my GPS screen I've got my GPS target I can see on my hood here, in the bottom left, it's saying direct, so that's the terminal mode that I have it set at. It's saying in range, so the missile is in range, and then point underneath is just a point, a target point that I've given it. So now I'm pointing the plane almost at that point, you can see it locks on and I get a shoot notification. And then we can drop the missile. Be careful, that missile can hit you. It's slower than you, so it ends up behind you. So be careful when doing maneuvers after dropping one. And what we can actually also do is, I'm just gonna go into the camera mode here and I'll swap this camera. And I'm gonna set it to chase. And it's also set to missile here, what it's looking at. So let's go to chase. And we can do this to, be, to just follow the missile in, uh, just to make sure it impacts the target basically um, because these missiles can get shot down quite easily uh, it's almost like a small aircraft the radar can pick it up it will get shot down by anti-air missiles and sea whiz so it's uh, it's always handy to just keep an eye on the missile as it's going in make sure it actually gets to target OK, 
Okay then. So there we go. I just sped that up. Uh, save us a bit of time so we don't have to watch it fly all the way in. But you saw what happened there. It just flew directly from me to the point that I'd set and destroyed the target. Now, if that ship uh, was set to engage, that missile wouldn't have got there. It would have been shot out of the sky, um, most likely, unless you saturated it or there was other planes around taking, you know, the radar off the uh, anti-ship missile. The likelihood is that that missile would have been shot down. So next, let's go back to our equipment screen, and this time we'll try sea skim. I'm going to go to my GPS screen and I'm going to delete that last target because that ship's now dead. I don't need it. And I'm going to zoom out for this one on the nav screen and I'm going to look at my ship. So zooming in right in on this ship. Oh, in, not out. Zoom in right out on that ship. What I'm going to do this time is try and get a GPS point as close as I can on there, but it looks like that ship is actually moving. So it's moving away from the point that I've set. So I'm, I'm going to have to kind of roughly guess where the end point is. And I'm not sure which way it's going. So let's say maybe... Which way are you going? Looks like it's going round in a circle. So let's try about here. I'm going to set my GPS point there. Now we can see from the hood... I'm, C I'm set to sea skim, but it's also telling me that I'm over range to that point, so I'm too far away to fire the missile at the moment. Once I get close enough, that will change to uh, in range, so there you go, it changed to in range there, and it gave me the shoot notification. Now, what I'm hoping this missile should do, as it's getting to that terminal point, it should start its sea skim process so it's going to go down to the deck and start skimming the deck and it should turn on its onboard uh, anti-ship radar. Um, now this only works if the ship is moving. Um, you need a moving target for radar to work. If the, if the ship is stationary you need to get that final point pretty much on the ship. But while this one's moving we should be able to uh, pick it up. Now, hopefully I'm not too far away there from that termination point. But we'll fire it off and then we'll hit the S cam and watch it in. Okay, so there you go, you saw then uh, as it was getting to that final point, it was scanning for that ship, the radar was, was on and scanning, and as it picked up the ship, it changed course to lose some height, and then turned back in towards the ship at, and then hit it at sea level. So uh, again, a good way to try and avoid um, anti-air by flying low, trying to avoid radar. This next one we're going to set to uh, SS evade so C skim evade and what I'm also going to do we can see on the nav screen that I uh, I have my ship here you might not always have the ship detected but I've got the ship detected here so between myself you just turn towards the island and that ship you can see we've got the island so what I can do instead is I'm going to zoom in here and I'm going to start adding GPS points between myself and that ship just going around the edge of the island. Autopilot disengaged. Add controller lock on then. There we go, just a couple more. Oh, we'll add another one here, another one here, and I'm just going to zoom right in on this ship again, just to see if the ship is actually moving. So this, this ship doesn't look like it's moving, so I, I'm going to try and put my last point right on that ship. So looking at my GPS screen now, I've got several points, I'm going to zoom out, 
on the nav screen, you can also see I've got those several points on there. And I'm going to select this option. So as long as we have more than one point on the GPS screen, we'll get this option, path. When I select path and it turns green, you can see now my GPS points are all linked up by a line. And also, checking on the HUD, you can also see that the missile is in sea skim evasive for its terminal point. Uh, I'm currently over range, and it also now says path instead of point. So I know this missile is going to follow that path. Now there are a couple of important things to know when setting the path like I've just done. The, the first couple of points, uh, sorry, the first point um, that you want to fire the missile must be at the top of the list. The point where you want it to hit the ship must be at the bottom of the list. The ones in between I don't think really matters, it just joins them up to its closest point. But its start point and its terminal point must be in that order. The start point must be at the top, the terminal point must be at the bottom, otherwise the missile won't work. Also, I'm just going to set the waypoint to that first marker over there. So I'm I'm currently 37 miles from the, the first marker on the path. And that makes a big difference, so let's just hit the burners. Now, each of the squares on the nav map is 2.5 nautical miles, I think. So we can see from that ship, every two squares is five miles. So we could possibly say that we are 5, 10. This path is probably between 15 and 20 nautical miles. Now, my first shot, I was in range at, all, at pretty much 40 nautical miles. I could fire at about 38 nautical miles. This one, I'm, I'm now under 30 nautical miles, and it's still saying over range. So that's telling me the computer is taking the length of this path into account for the overall flight time of the missile. But you don't have to kind of take that into account yourself when you're firing this missile. The HUD is going to tell you and, you, and it will snap and you'll get a shoot notification as well when it's within range. Just one last thing to, to mention on that point as well, talking about range, is... Um, when the radar is on, I'm not very certain what its terminal radar range is. Um, so if it picks up a ship as it's getting to its terminal point, um, I'm not sure how far it will travel. There we go, we got a shoot notification at 20 nautical miles. So like I said, between 15 and 20 miles for the path, that works out to roughly 40 nautical miles. So I'm gonna fire this missile up. I'm gonna get a little closer so the missile's not flying as long. And once again, I will swap over to the screen. Um, I'll, I'll swap over to the missile screen, but I will also try and keep focus on the nav map because we can also, let me just change the mode so it doesn't move. And we can also watch the missile follow the path on the nav map. So I'm going to fire the missile. We will watch it in and also I'll try and keep an eye on the path. Okay, so there we go. That was uh, Sea Skimmy Basin. So, as I said, we could um, we could see it flying along the path that we'd set out. We could actually watch it on the nav screen. And then also, as it got uh, as it got between these last two points, you saw it start to swerve side to side. So it had picked up the ship on radar as it was flying in. As soon as it got past this point, really. So as it's going to its terminal point, it basically turned the radar on between these two points. And then it picked up the ship straight away, and then it went into evasive mode, so it was just flying around side to side. Uh, so if that, if the ship Sea Wiz was working, um, it would try and shoot the, the missile down. 
and an evasive kind of helps prevent that. Also, if you noticed as well, the previous one that we had in sea skim, it flew directly to the target, like direct shot, uh, when we had it set to a point. Then it started diving into its point, picked up the ship, and then dove down to sea level. By setting the path, this one was always flying at sea level because this path is set to 200 feet. Uh, sorry, 250 feet above sea level. Uh, it's, it's minimum um, height, flight height, I think is 250 feet above sea level. It's actually set to zero, but it, it's not going to fly that low. Uh, you can change the height of these if you want it to fly higher, maybe over a mountain or something at first. Um, but it was already flying low at sea level, which means it had much less chance of being picked up on, on radar. Uh, whereas the first one in sea skin probably would have been picked up on anti-aircraft radar. So having a path just means it's flying low, it's, it's the best way to do it. So once again, I'm going to delete this group to get rid of all the path points. We've now got another target zoom into this one. Now once again I can see that that dot is moving so I'm going to have to kind of guesstimate where it's where it's final point is going to be and I'm going to create a path again because it's just better doing that. It doesn't have to be a long path let's get the GPS screen up then we will let's just swap actually because it's easier to use this hand so we'll GPS send for the screen it is soy and and roughly wherever it is right there so again the radar is going to come on between these two points so hopefully as long as it's around there we should pick it up and next I'm going to set this to pop up mode once again I'll turn the ship uh, also I'm going to make sure I press path Checking the hood let me know there it was set to point instead of path. Run on this point. And going back to the S cam, we'll watch this one in. Okay then, well that was as much as I know about the AGM 89s. I hope you will find that useful and be able to use these missiles in your missions. Um, just a summary, uh, there are the four different fire modes, direct, sea skim, sea skim evasive and pop up. Um, pop up, best chance to kill, um, sea skim evasive, best chance to get to target, direct fire is probably the easiest way to use the missile. Setting paths is also much better than firing it direct because as I say it will fly at the altitude that you set the path to um, and that's pretty much it so thanks again to everybody for subscribing and liking and commenting and joining the discord and playing in the games it's great to play along with people and I, I love the uh, appreciation in the comments uh, but until the next video I'll see you next time bye bye